guys, so I'm, oh, I have a nice big boil on my head, uh, joys of being a girl. Um, I have a, um, a nice update for you. So um, the knee is definitely feeling a lot, lot better, which is amazing. Ah, I'm really like over the moon. Um, so week four, um, it's going okay. Like, I'm quite happy with how it's going. Bending, stretching more, um, hobbling around um, the house more. Um, going around the house though, I have to have um, the brace on um, full lock, um, yeah, I'm guessing that's gonna take uh, most of the weight. Um, everybody is different, and every physiotherapy and every operation is slightly different, so um, the advice that I've been given from my physiotherapist is for the first sort of zero to four weeks, um, wear the brace, have it fully locked. And the first couple of weeks I was on crutches, um, and that's the last sort of week and, well, couple of weeks um I've been um able to hobble around a little bit still was crutches up and down the stairs last week um and also out and about whereas this week um no crutches up and down the stairs um just the good old reliable um brace and uh, we're still at 60 degrees on here as well um yeah so feeling good got my next physiotherapy appointment um next week next tuesday i've got the camera like this because i'm holding my boil um so yeah i'm i'm really excited about that it's just weird um i'm able to as well get back to um doing a little bit of work so i feel like i've got a bit more purpose now um i did have um, a long list of things that i said right i'm gonna do that while i'm off definitely taking that off the list done that list probably within the first week um so yeah um oh you done all my christmas presents it's handy in some respects but in others it can be quite boring and I have had a few days where I have got you know I have been really really down um so I definitely recommend before any operation um pick up a hobby or um online shopping it's a bit expensive but a bit deadly <laughs> um and anything that you think that you might be able to achieve um just because I find I lost a little bit of motivation and I was becoming a bit of a couch potato um and I was just sat in my pyjamas, just feeling sorry for myself. So I found that actually eating healthy and having a list of things to tick off by the end of the day was really, really good for me. Um, as far as the scar itself, I will show you. I do apologise, my legs are a little bit hairy, but um, it kind of feels a bit weird around the scar at the moment. So I ooh, can't bring myself to shave my legs yet, but it's nearly winter, so who cares? So here goes. So I don't know if you can see that. So, I've got this scar here, which I guess is like a couple of inches long. Um, we've got another scar here. One up here, which where they went in for the arthroscopy. And then another one here. So, yeah, I mean, swelling-wise, it's actually pretty good on the swelling. Um, my upper leg does resemble a slight turkey leg at the moment. So I have lost quite a lot of muscle. Um, and it's been great just to have it up on this. Um, still been icing. Um... So, um, icing, oh, I guess sort of three times a day now. So maybe not icing quite as much, um, but I'm finding that the swelling's really subsided. Um, but I'm happy bunny and I'm finally getting there. And I think you get to this stage and it's fab and you feel like you're getting somewhere and, you know, actually you're recovering nicely. You're able to bend the leg. Um, yeah, so all good. So my advice is mainly just to top it off is just listen to the advice um of the consultants and the physios please don't overdo it because you want to have the best recovery possible until next time bye bye